Stop it! Now I'm going to take her upstairs because she needs to rest. No, you wouldn't. Take this thing out of my house right this minute! Take her back to the street where you got her from! That's the last thing I'll ever do. Good night. Elliot! I heard you talking to my brother and his fiance. Fear what? Fear what? Look, I don't care how much you and your brother love that girl, but he will never marry her. Mom, the last time I checked, my brother was not the one who made the choice of husband for you. You did that yourself. So why don't you allow him make his decision? I have heard you. You two will see how this will end. Mom, Mom, enough of all this. You've embarrassed my brother and his fiance so much. Imagine you calling her a drunk and, and a prostitute, a harlot, to her face. Mom, that is so humiliating. Isn't she a harlot? Isn't she a drunk? Mom, what evidence do you have? No, tell me. Have you ever seen her with a man before? For the fact she drinks alcohol doesn't make her a bad egg, Mom. But she is a drunk. Mom, come off it. Mom, listen, my brother Elliot is man enough. I mean, he's so grown to make his own decisions. Mom, my brother Elliot is grown enough. He's man enough now to take his own decision. Not in this house. Elliot, what exactly is the problem? Dad, you better talk to Mom. You better talk to Mom because I need some peace in this house. What did she do? Dad, you better talk to Mom. You better talk to mother because I, I cannot take this anymore from her. I won't. What did she do? My fiance and I, we came back. We barely even got home and, and mom, in her usual way, started throwing insults and abusive words on her, calling her all sorts of names. Okay. Just go to your room, okay? Just go to your room and sleep. Dad, you better do. I'll talk to your mother. Please, please. Because I won't take this anymore. I won't. has consumed a lot of alcohol today. So tell Ooh. me, how was the party? Babe, you missed. Mm. It was lit. There was enough to drink and enough to eat. It would have been a wonderful experience if you were there. But I don't know why you don't like going to parties. Like you know, it's not my thing. You know, I hate noise a lot. That's why I don't go to club. Okay. So tell me. Hope you did not eye one of those strip dancers. Oh, oh. There she goes. Obviously someone has been jealous at home. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Dog jaw. Um, anyway. There's this beautiful butterfly I saw that flew across my table. I wanted to go for it, but I thought about it. Like if I had gone for it, Elliot would have spilled. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy. Uh, <laughs> I would have stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have a surprise for you. Baby, take me to Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy. Alright, baby, come. Come. Come with me. I'm on yours. Come to mama. I'm on yours. <laughs> come to mama. I'm on yours. Oh, baby. <laughs> yes. 
I used a busy voice on her. And I would do it over and over. My dear. You know, Elliot, our son needs some respect. I mean, you have very good reasons for whatever you said. But you must also, also bear in mind that Elliot is no longer a child. So you accord him some respect. I will only respect him when he decides to leave that drunk that he's been messing around with. Drunk? Otherwise... I will never. Who is a drunk? That girl is not a drunk. She used to drink. And then she promised us that she will never touch alcohol again. And she's been keeping to her promise. <laughs> you are behind news then. You needed to have seen her this night. She was staggering. As a result of alcohol she consumed. She didn't even know all the time I had the confrontation with Elliot. Elliot just dragged her to their apartment. And that is the person you said I should respect. Em, honey, don't tell me you are going to disturb Elliot this time of the night. Why not? I wanted to get there and send her out of the house immediately. No. Leave him to rest this night. Tomorrow you can go and do whatever you want. Hmm? Don't worry. Let's go to sleep. These children they will not kill us so. Remember the Lord is watching you. Remember the Lord is watching you on the judgment day. Watching you, men and brethren, this is a reminder that hell and heaven is real. God is calling us now to repent. Repent from all your sins because it's sin that creates a bridge and burns that bridge between God and man. Why don't you turn to God now? In the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 9, it says, When you confess all your sins, not one, you don't keep one in your cupboard, you do not hide anyone in your box. When you confess all your sins, God in his faithfulness and righteousness will forgive you. So why don't you turn to God? Stop all your sinful ways. End time is near. Why don't you turn to God now? The envy, the ill treatment, every wrong attire, why don't you stop it? Because in heaven, it does not count. In heaven, it does not count. And the goal is heaven. Repent. Repent! Repent! Heaven is the goal. Jesus is calling us now. Jesus is calling me! Son, I hope you are okay. Yes, Dad, I'm, I'm fine. I, uh, I woke up with a lot of resentment in my heart for Mom today. The way she embarrassed me yesterday was unbearable. Son, I had a talk with your mom and we have both decided that you discontinue every dealing with that girl immediately. Dad? Don't dad me. I'm sure you heard me clearly. 
I don't want to say beyond this. The money next is too early for that. Dad, how, how would you make such a decision without talking to me? Such a decision for my life without consulting me, Dad? Son, there's no way you're going to get married to a drunk. Girls her age are thinking of what to do with their lives, and she's getting drunk to stupor and unconsciousness. Dad, Dad, I have never complained to you or mother about this. Dad, it's not a big deal. I, I know it's not cool, I know. But she and I were already talking about it, we're already working on it, and I know she will stop. Please. When will she stop? She promised us that she will never touch another bottle of alcohol. And what happened yesterday? She got drunk to stupor. Dad, please, I'm begging you, this will not happen again, please. So, Dad, please. So, sooner you get her out of your life, the better for all of us. I see you're up to some chores. Yes, I'm actually cleaning the house, after which I will prepare breakfast. Okay, maybe I do the cleaning while you cook. Come on, I can't be here and you're taking care of all the chores. That's so thoughtful of you, Auntie. Thank you. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Did I just hear you call me, Mom? Hmm? I was greeting you, Ma. Do I look like the useless woman that gave back to you? How lot I drunk like you? Mom! Don't you dare talk to her like that. Hey, please, don't. Are you talking to me like that because of this how lot? This drunk? Hey, Elliot! Okay, we shall see. I'm okay. Please don't talk to her like that again. Please. I am so happy. I am so fulfilled. The happiest woman on earth right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you are this happy and so fulfilled, and I don't know the reason why you are this happy and fulfilled. Okay. I may have found a wife for our son, a Christian wife. Who is this angel in human flesh that you're singing her praises like this? How long have you known her? I actually don't know much about her yet, but I can beat my chest and say it over and over that she will make a good wife for our son. She's a very devoted Christian, beautiful girl. Wow. I saw her preaching from street to street this morning while I was coming back. Oh yeah? Mm. Well, if you saw her preaching, then there's nothing else to add. That's the type of girl we want for our son. Mm -hmm. A decent girl with good home training. She's very decent. But how do we get across to her? I collected her contact, her number. And of course, I gave her my uh, um, complimentary card, which has our home address on it. Oh, so I told her that I will call her and invite her over one of these days. Ah, not one of these days. Mm. Invite her over today. I just wanted to let you know first. No, no, no. Invite her over today. 
let her come and see us today so that we can quickly introduce her to our son, mm -hmm. Elliot. Mm -hmm. And so that our son could also quickly let go of that drunk and start concentrating on her. Please do that. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I'm at home. I, you know, today is weekend and I'm spending time with my woman. <laughs> um, you want to come around? Ah, sure, no problems. All right, no problem. All right, bye. My sugar pie. My boo of life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's obvious someone wants something from someone. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Okay. So shall we? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> God bless you, ma'am. Fine. God is faithful. I hope you're okay, ma. Oh, that's good. Uh, well, I'm just done with my morning cry and I'll be on my way to see my friend. Okay, you want me to come over? Okay, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine, ma. Um, maybe on my way for um, evening... Maybe on my way for evening service, I'll just come see you. Is that okay? God bless you, Ma. God is with you. See you, Ma. Bye. Eternal life. Eternal life. I want to live eternal life. God is my soul. I want to leave it. Good morning, brother. God bless you. Babe, seriously, you know shouting at your mom isn't cool at all. I was trying to defend you. I know. She birthed you and she deserves utmost respect from you. I'm really sorry for being the cause of everything. Hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything, too. But, babe, seriously, what exactly is going on? Why is everyone against Shh. us? Not, if, not everyone is against us. No one is against us. Okay? Everything is fine. It's just that sometimes my parents, they, they act up. And this is one of those times. But I promise everything is fine. Okay? Are you sure? It's all right. I love you so much. I love and cherish you too. I'm really sorry for all this, but baby, I need you to be strong. Be strong for us. For our love. Relax. Everything is fine. Bro. Hey. Seems your baby's not around. Yeah, she went to her friends. Bro, I have a really, really big burden. 
and I don't know where to start from or how to face it. Okay. So, what is it about? Bro, it's my parents. Okay. They want me to get married. They're pressuring me to get married so soon. And they don't want Sophia. They want her out of the way so I can search for someone else. I don't understand. You've dated Sophia for a very long time and they are aware of it. So why you want out of the way now that you need to marry her? Bro, it, it, it's so ridiculous. I've tried talking to them. I've told them this many times. This whole thing started when my my darling Sophia and I, we came back from that party and my mom saw her intoxicated. Ever since then, the house has been on fire. She wouldn't stop talking about it. She keeps on going on and on about it, that she's a drunk, she won't make a good wife, this and that. My father that's supposed to caution her now supports my mom. Elliot, you and I know that Sophia is not a drunk. She's just a victim of her own lifestyle. Exactly. And she only drinks when she goes to parties. And most of the time, it's when you're with her. Please, don't let them ruin something you've taken your time to build over silly excuses. Thank you very much, bro. This is exactly what I needed to hear. I've already told them that there's nothing they can do to come between Sophia and I. Nothing. Nothing. If she's a drunk, it's my problem. If we're getting married, it's my problem, not theirs. Besides, she's calm, she's nice, she's homely. What else do they want from me? You know, gone are the days when parents choose partners for their children. To me, it's even more comfortable ending up with a drunk that you know, than an angel you know nothing about. We'll be hanging out this evening. I don't know if you're up for it. Sounds like a good idea. I think I need it to get my mind off things. Obviously. <laughs> hmm. Auntie Sophia, you look so dull and moody. What is the problem? My girl, I am so confused. Confused about what? Everything. Everything that has been going on in this house. Your mom does not want me around. Your dad gives me a very dismissive look and attitude. I've asked your brother, but he didn't open up to me. I wanted to know exactly what, what's going on, but he wouldn't talk. And see, you shouldn't be worried about trivial things. You call this trivial things? Mabel, it seems you don't know what is going on in this house. Let me say, from last night till now. I know everything. Auntie Sophia, believe me. And I can beat my chest and tell you that it's nothing to worry about. I know, yes, my mom, my mom insults you every time. Why? What did I ever do to her? I have never for once insulted or disrespected her. There's never been a day I, I didn't help out with chores in this house. You're right. I, I've, I've tried my best to ensure that we are all peaceful and happy in this house, but I don't know why mom is treating me this way. Auntie Sophia, it's okay. You know, it hurts me so bad each time you lament and cry over all these things. Please, stop. I want you to know one thing now. You know I love you so much and I care about you. And my brother Elliot does the same thing. We all love you. So we don't want you to worry about whatever it is that my parents think about you or whatever they say. All right? My brother loves you so much. I know you love me. And I do not have any doubt about how much your brother loves me. 
but I need the same love from your parents. Could you imagine your brother and your mother having issues because of me? Annabelle, it, it hurts. It really hurts no, so I, much. I, I know. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. Take it easy. You'll be fine. All right? Once again, my daughter, you are welcome. Thank you so much, sir. From what my wife told me, and from this your attire, I can see that you are a true Christian. Yes, sir. And by the special grace of God, I am the leader of the gospel outreach in the New Believers Ministry, sir. Interesting. Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, my wife has told me that she's told you often why you are here. Well, as you can see, my family is already made. But my son, we are looking for a woman with whom my son would build a home, a decent woman. And that woman is you. Our son is a very handsome, gentle, caring young man and i believe that both of you will make a good couple um thank you very much ma sir i'm really sorry but as a true christian i need to go into serious prayer and fasting to seek direction from the holy spirit please talk of the angel that's my son Son, we have a guest. Good day, sir. Good day, Dad. Good day, Mom. Hello. Son, she has been waiting here all day just to see you. First of all, Madam, I did not ask anyone to wait for me. And then second, I am not interested she can go ahead and wait for the second coming of Christ. I didn't ask anyone to wait for me. Good day. Son, come back here. Come back here. Come back here, son. Don't take one more step there, son, or else. Oh, what? What's that? What are you going to do? Huh? Look. You're actually getting on my nerves. And very soon, you'll get to that level which I can't take anymore. And then you'll see the other side of me, oh, please, which Dad, you won't like. Dad, please show me this other side of you because I'm getting very impatient. None of your plans are going to work. You and mom brought that thing for me to mingle with. When I already have a woman, never. It's never can, going to happen. I can see you've grown wings. Look at it. You've grown wings. You dare. Fault my decision in this house, I'll show you I'm your father. You walk out on me in front of a guest. How dare you? And I'll keep walking out over and over again until you stop forcing a woman on me. I love Sophia, Dad. There's nothing you or Mom will do to change that plan. I'm going to marry her. Now, please excuse me. Come back here! Come! Sophia made this too while I prepared the rice. What? No wonder. No wonder. Food is too tasteless. Salty. But mom, you just complimented the food. Drunk. Why are you looking at me that way? Hmm? You just prepared the rubbish and served us to eat. Mom, 
I guess you're not happy, right? No, you should be happy. Mommy, why do you derive so much joy in making Auntie Sophia so sad? Why? And Dad, you're not even saying anything. Will you just shut up? Shut up. You're so restless. Seriously, I was coming to your house. Hmm? The woman called me that I should come to her house. I quickly went to change, rushed to her house. Eh? I'm so sorry. I wanted to come to your own after morning cry, but she called me and you know in life there are some opportunities you don't play with. It's, ah, I understand. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> At least you went for something good. So tell me, how did you go? Hope you were giving a warm welcome. Mm, yes and uh, no. Uh -uh. What do you mean by yes and no? Babes, I beg. This weather is too hot. Eh? Not the wine me now. You were the one that told me that the woman is a very rich woman. Mm -hmm. Eh? So it's expected that she would entertain you properly. Well, I never said I wasn't entertained properly. It's the only that the, the young man in question doesn't seem to be interested in me. Then the guy must be very sick. Mm -hmm. What sort of a guy will look at a pretty girl like you and turn you down? I will shock uh -uh. too. But it's your fault, Sha. Ah, how can you, how, how, how can you dress like this now? Look, look at what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. yeah? you, keep, you see what I keep telling you? Dress like a young girl. Take a good look at me. Look at the way I'm looking. Look at yourself. No, look at, look at what, look, look, what, look at what you're now? wearing. Look at your shoes. Clara, stop. Look at what you, look at, look at what you're wearing. And what guy would actually look at you? Look at. Look this is how the angels dress in heaven. What angels? In heaven, we're on earth. Eh, Mary, this is earth. Look at, look, look. I don't blame the guy, you're serious. I don't blame him. Ah, look at what you're wearing. No, take it. What? No, nothing. Look at it. It's okay. I've... Fine. It's okay. It's okay. Please. I've heard you. Ah, I've heard you. Please. I keep telling you, dress well. If you want to attract good men, you dress well. You look the part. If you ah, want ah. to attract Jesus Christ, change this type of dressing. This is not ah, it. You are a sinner. You're yeah, sin. Please. Don't start with me, I beg. Ah, ah. What's that? How did they pierce it? Mary, did they Mary. open your mouth? Dad. What? Dad, I'm really so sorry for the way I spoke to you and Mom. Well? You're entitled to your own opinions and you can share them in words, express them <clears throat> in any manner you like. So, can you let me be now? Dad. That doesn't sound nice coming from you. Oh, Mabel, please. Do you have anything serious to say now or not? All right. Dad, please. I want to plead with you. You are the head of this family. And as such, things are supposed to run smoothly under your care. Dad, please. Lately, Mom talks to Sophia in, a, in an abusive manner, and I don't like it. Can you tell her to stop already? Stop what? Has she even insulted the girl? I mean, what has she said about Sophia that is not true? Dad, seriously, Dad. So, Dad, it's not abusive when you call someone a harlot in the presence of her man. It is not so abusive when you, you, you call her a drunk. She condemns everything Sophia does in this house. I mean, nothing seems to be right in mom's eyes. You're just a child, maybe. You won't understand that we are trying to save your brother from something dangerous. Dad, you're rather making things worse for him. Why don't you allow him to spend the rest of his life with the woman he truly desires? Let my brother and Sophia be. Dad, please. I can't. Because a man of my social, political, and economic standing I cannot just entrust my lineage into the hands of someone who cannot control herself. Only God knows the type of children she will sire and leave to represent me when I'm gone. Now, my dear, I was trying to work out something on social media when you came out here to disturb me. So, could you please? Allow me to continue with my ruminations. Rumination, you said, Dad. 
Okay, fine. If you want me to allow you have peace in this house, then you have to respect my brother's opinion and do the right thing. Allow them be. Why do these children like to bang doors? This is the only thing that can help me out a bit. Don't worry. I won't take much though. Um, um, bro, just allow her to. Even if you want to stop alcohol, it doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Enjoy. Got you. <laughs> I am so sorry over my son's reaction the other day. <laughs> it's okay, Ma. I understand how he feels. Um, I actually came to tell you that I'm done with the fasting and prayers. <laughs> what is the outcome? <laughs> well, by the grace of God, in the realm of the Spirit, it was revealed that your son and I will make a wonderful couple. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I've always known it now. I knew it. That this is a divine mandate. Hmm? Yes, ma. Um, but your son doesn't seem to like me. But I don't want to force things. You know, as a child of God, we don't chase, but we attract. That is not a problem. Hmm? Don't worry yourself. My son will marry you. There is no, you see, God has made this to be. Nobody would put us on that. Amen. My son is going to marry you. Amen. Eh? Thank you, ma. This calls for a celebration. Let me go and get something for us to drink. Thank you, ma. Um, um, ma. Uh, please, you, you know my faith. I'm not allowed to take anything alcoholic, just soft. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you, man. God is good. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Hey, Mary, 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 or whatever they call you, right? Please, can you stop coming to this house? I mean, stop already. But wait, I thought you said you were an evangelist. Why don't you focus on the work God sent you to earth to do and leave my brother alone? Leave him. Uh, please, oh, the, the last I checked, I'm not holding your brother, right? <laughs> you better not. Mm -hmm. And the good you can do for yourself this minute is to stop coming to this house. Yes. I mean, my brother is engaged to Sophia. Please stop coming. Have I made myself clear? Um, please, oh, I just want to make something really clear to you. Because God said so, neither you or the evil spirits speaking through you, neither you nor the evil spirit speaking through you can stop me from having the man God has bestowed me with. So please, don't stress yourself. Just sit back and watch how things play out. <laughs> Is it not very obvious? No, tell me. Is it not very obvious that you are a fake evangelist? What blasphemy? What did you just say? You heard me right! Jesus! You are fake evangelist, Mary! Listen to me. Whatever you call your name, whatever evil that is speaking through you, respect yourself. Respect yourself. If you don't respect yourself, I will really deal with you. And when I start dealing with you, nobody, nobody around here will be able to save you. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just threaten me in my father's house? Did you? Just wait. Just wait. Don't go anywhere. Dad! Ghost fire. Holy ghost fire, blood of Jesus. Dad! Dad! What is it? Didn't it happen? Dad, can you imagine? The lady you put brought here was busy threatening my life. What did you do to her? 
I didn't do anything to her. I only told her to stop coming here and that my brother has a fiance and she... And she what? Who asked you to tell her that in the first place? Come, let me warn you. Let it be the first and the last time you will talk to her in that manner. In fact, don't even talk to her whenever she comes to this house. Otherwise, I will deal ruthlessly with you. Then she should be ready for war because I am going to deal with her. Come, come. Are you challenging me in this house? Are you opposing what I say in this house? Try it and you will see what I'm doing. Come on, get inside. Baby, why are you out here isolating yourself? What is it? I am really bothered and I can't hide it. You are bothered? Baby, we have been in this house for a while now. I you have something bothering you which you didn't open up to me. Okay, tell me, what is the problem? Elliot has been complaining about how his parents are forcing him into marrying someone he doesn't want to marry. I mean, Sophia has always been there for him. And she's just his dream woman. How can they ask him to marry someone else when they know he has been dating Sophia for years now? <laughs> Why would they even come up with such a crazy idea? They said she drinks alcohol and that she can't make a good wife. <laughs> and how is this funny? <laughs> it's actually funny hearing the excuse and your parents are bringing forth. I mean, the fact that Sophia takes alcohol doesn't make her a bad girl. The Sophia that I know is a sweet and gentle girl. So she shouldn't take what her body needs because she wants to marry their son. Baby, you know me. You have met my friends. They love to party, but I don't. But that doesn't make me a, a saint. The parents, you understand that people have different lifestyle. Me, for instance, my friends likes to party, but I don't. But that does not make me a saint. By the way, who is this girl they, they want him to marry? Relax, relax. Yeah. relax. Yeah. Close it. Good evening, Daddy. Just go inside. Mm. Go inside. You see what your mom and I have been talking about concerning that girl? What? She's coming back drunk again. For how long will this continue? That she's... She's learning to stop taking alcohol. It's a gradual process. And who is interested in the process? Look, there are a lot of girls, good girls, decent girls out there. And we have gotten you one. I don't know what you're still doing with this girl. Dad, you're not going to marry her, you know? Dad, Dad. The sooner you people understand that people are free to live their lives the way they want, the better for all of us. You can bring all the girls you know, you and mom, but I've made up my mind, this is the woman I want to marry. And that's final. Please. Sophia. Hi, baby girl. How are you? I'm fine. Um, do you have a moment? Yeah, sure. 
Okay. Um, Auntie, you see, there's something I, I was meaning to ask you. Or oh, I would say I was meaning to tell you. But I don't know how you feel about it. <laughs> Come on. Whatever it is, just say it. Okay? Okay. And Sophia, mm. you know that I love you so much, right? Mm -hmm. And I take you as my biological sister. <laughs> but you see, you know, your alcoholic consumption is way too much. And that's why my mom despises you. So, uh, and, you know, each time you're not happy, I'm not happy too. Honestly, I don't know if you can stop. My dear, it's not like I'm a bad person or something. No, 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 auntie. You're not a bad person as far as I know. You are actually the most humble human being ever. You are so loving, so caring. Name it. But auntie, all these qualities, your alcoholic intake is trying to ruin everything. Well, I am already working on stopping it. And I believe in a short time, I will stop. Oh my God, Auntie, I'm so happy right now. Like, I'm the happiest person. I can't even wait when you can finally settle down with my brother. Uh, <laughs> Abel, please stop. <laughs> Don't get me emotional right now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> my baby. You look cute, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Dad, I'm listening. The reason we called you is to find out what you're still doing with that girl after we have told you severally to leave her alone. Yes. We brought you a responsible girl who has spiritual backing to... Mom. Dad. I have somewhere important to go to and I need to prepare. So if you people have nothing useful to talk about, let me know so I can leave. So, what we are talking about here is useless. Extremely useless, man. In that case, make sure that girl does not sleep in this house one more day. That's not going to happen because Sophia is my woman. There's no two ways about it. It won't happen. Elliot! Elliot, come back here! Can you see? Why should I give it to you? I'm stepping out. Henceforth, you don't use any of my cars until you obey me. So it has gotten to this. Dad, it has gotten to this. Dad! I will go. I will leave this house for you. Isn't it time you details me about this whole thing? Don't I deserve to know what exactly is going on? I'm sorry I kept this away from you for so long. But my parents are just getting tougher and tougher every day. What exactly is going on? Because this embarrassment is getting worse. My parents, they want me to leave you. They don't want me to marry you. And I've made my intentions clear that nothing they do can separate me from you. Are you saying this to please me or what? If you and your parents don't want me, why not tell me so I can just move on? Move on to where? With who? I don't care what they do or they say. I'm not going to leave you. I love you. I love you too, but I don't know. 
I understand. I'm tired too. Very tired. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, just hold on for me. I'm coming. Baby. Yeah? What is it? Babe, I have an emergency to attend to right now. I thought we agreed to go see your sister in the next 30 minutes. Yes. Elliot is stranded somewhere. Okay, he wanted to go to the office and pick up something, but the father refused him going with the car. What? Why is Chief and his wife maltreating that boy? I don't know, but I just have to go pick him up. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay. All right, all right I'll see you when I get back. Okay. Drive safe. All right. Chief and the wife are really getting this wrong. Turn your back and leave this compound this minute. Or else, all those threats of yours will be on your head. Mabel, please, I beg you, leave my way now, or... Um, or what? Or what? Huh? Oh, you dare threaten me in this house? <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't want to because you wouldn't want to see how bad I can be. Now, leave this compound right now. Get! Get out! What is going on, babe? What is going on, Mabel? How dare you raise your voice at her? Hmm? But mom, she keeps threatening me each time she comes here, and I've had enough. I can no longer take it. Will you get back inside now? Go and continue with what you are doing before you incur my rights. And you? Not to worry. You will find exactly what we I said go inside! Get out! You're welcome, my dear. Jesus. Don't mind, Mabel. Hmm? The Holy Spirit is in control, ma'am. Yes. The Holy Spirit is in control. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Everything right now is going smoothly. I'm just coming from that place and you need to see and hear the words of encouragement and assurance that their parents give me. Wow! Hmm. This sounds so interesting. That means we have a wedding to plan soon. Um, not yet so, Clara. But the guy is still acting up. What do you mean? Hmm. He doesn't want me around though. He has a fiancé already. Throughout my stay there, he didn't even care to say hi. Like he doesn't want to see me around there at all. See, don't worry. Hmm? His parents want you, isn't it? And you're there already. The poor guy has no option but to marry you. Ah. Ah. His sister is just something else. Like that girl, ah, she makes me so angry. She has lots of bitterness and anger in her heart. But I'll certainly silence her. <laughs> Mary, you don't have to bother yourself about her. Hmm? She'll soon get married and you'll take over. And let me tell you something. This is the time you silence her with your prayers. You see how this is your children? Mm -hmm. You show her. Yes, yes, now. Push her off. I will. Uh, uh. I, like, she can't be an obstacle oh, to this answer. No. I will pray, pray so her down. I will pray her down. You put your chocolate in water. Oh, start fasting. Those fire verses. Exactly. I'll use it on her. Ah, I must. This so. is the time to show her because ah, she can't be an obstacle. It seems like I'll go into a seven-day power pact fasting exactly. and prayers. Exactly. That's it. To pin her down. That's it. Dad! Yes. Dad! Dad! Why are you disturbing the peace of I your house? I went to the office to get some stuff. And the gatekeeper didn't allow me inside, saying that there was an instruction not to let me in. Why? Well, you see, it's nice to give some people a leverage of freedom to see how they'll really react. I give you 
free access into my company, my car, my office, all that I have. And now you think you can finish and turn and begin to lift your shoulders for me. Never! So you actually gave that instruction? Yes. You actually did? Yes, I did. And I will do more. Look, the sooner you obeyed me, the better for you. Now get out of my sight. I will leave. I will go, Dad. But mark my words, there's nothing you will do to come between Sophia and I. We will see how this ends. For you because I know you are a mother. As a, no matter what, you have the heart of a mother. I am not here to, to ask what I have done because I know I am not perfect. But I'm here to ask you to please forgive me for whatever I have done. I have lost my mother and my father. I have no siblings. My uncle who saw me through his school made sure he did whatever pleased him with me before he could help me. Elliot is the only person in my life and you are the only mother I have. And I know you can't neglect the tears of your daughter. Please forgive me for everything. I can't afford to lose Elliot. He's, I love him so much and he's, he's my everything. I beg you, please. Forgive me for whatever. I have done. I am so sorry, but Look, if you need a mother, you know where your mother is. In the grave. You go and meet her there. I am stepping out now. By the time I return here and I meet you, you will join your mother in the grave. Get, get out of the room. Get out, sir. Then what's the meaning of this? Like seriously, it's gotten to the extent of you freezing my accounts. I got information on my phone that all my bank accounts have been frozen till further notice. What's wrong about that? What's wrong about that? Why would you freeze my money? Why would you freeze my accounts? My money! Listen, listen, idiot. I own you. And everything you feel that you have. I give birth to you. I trained you. And everything you have came from me. And you think you can disobey me and get away with it? Huh? Yes, it's true that you raised me. Took me to school and stuff. But I did not ask to be given birth to. All these trivial things you mentioned are my birthright. Okay? Now, kindly unfreeze my account. Release it so I can have access to the money I worked for. You worked for the money. Would you have worked for the money if I wasn't there to put you through? Listen, my friend. You don't bite the finger that feeds you and expect to keep feeding. Let that sink in. Now get out of my sight.
love you to cry, please. <laughs> Allow me to shed my tears in peace, please. Allow you to shed your tears in peace. So what? I should do what? I should dance, sing, celebrate while you're in pain. Tell me, what should I do? I just can't believe this. I just can't believe that this house is hot and burning just because of me. No. It's because of us. It's because of us. We're in this together. And that's why it's burning. It's because of our love. It's because of what we share. It's because of the promise we made to each other. The only way to stop it is if I let go of you. So be it. Please, just let me go, okay? Let me go back to the streets where I belong. N nothing! Nothing! Nothing will make me leave you. Nothing will make me leave you. Not the pressure from my father, not the pressure from my mother. But he's gone ahead to deny me access to the company. He has taken my car, frozen my accounts. What else can he do? Nothing he does will make me leave you. We're in this together. Nothing will come between us. Nothing will divide us. I love you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for loving and caring for me. Thank you for... God, you are the only one I have in this world. Thank you for always proving to me that I'm in the right hand. Thank you. It's fine. It's okay. I love you so much. Young lady, what did you what was it you said you wanted to tell us? Mom, Dad, please I want to beg you. I want to beg both of you in the name of God. Let us stop this. Let's discontinue this. Discontinue what? Mom. This house used to be very calm and peaceful. Not until you brought, both of you brought out the idea of my brother getting married to Mary. Mom, please, are you not tired of the constant quarreling, fighting, wailing, the whole tears? Is it not enough? Mom, please, let us restore the peace of this house one more time. Well, you should be talking to your brother and not us. The sooner he drives that girl out of this house, the better for all of us. Dad, you know that's impossible. I mean, my brother has been with Sophia for many years. And you don't expect him to throw her away just like that and marry one some kind of self-acclaimed evangelist or whatever she calls herself. Elliot has no option. He must marry Mary or remain single. Hmm? If this house wants to burn, let it burn. Mom! Mm. Mom, how can you speak like this? Can you act like a mother for once? You are the proponent of the whole issues in this house and you don't care if the house burns down or not. What kind of a mother are you? Mom, okay, I know. I know the reason why you're doing this, because you feel Sophia doesn't have anyone to speak for her, right? But not to worry, God will defend her. actually been thinking. <clears throat> about what? About Elliot and what he's going through right now. So I'm thinking if we could go to his parents' house and speak with them. You know how much they respect us. I feel if we join voices, we'll be able to convince them to allow Elliot to marry the woman he wants to marry. 
What do you think? Mm, that's a good idea. I really don't like remembering what Elliot is going through in his parents' hands. But what can I do? I just hope they listen to us. I just pray they do. Because each time I think about Sophia, I mean, it, it makes me weak. That girl doesn't have anywhere to run to. If she loses her lot to another woman, she must just commit suicide. Aside that, Sophia is a very lovely and calm girl. And I'm afraid Elliot might be so unlucky in marriage if he loses her. So when do you think we should go there? or something. Do I look mad? I'm, I'm only coming close to, to greet my, my man on fire. Turn around and get out of this compound. Why, why do you keep doing this to me now? And why, why, why are you always doing this to me? For how long will this continue? I said, Get out. I'm not going anywhere. Come. Get out. Get out! Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Sorry. The Holy Spirit has already revealed to me that you're my husband, though. I don't know why you're sending me away. What about your mother? And your father? What's all this negativity all about? Can you be positive? Can you be optimistic? <sighs> there is no positivity any longer. I'm the problem here. I am the reason for the fights, the quarrels, the complaints and everything. I'm the problem. So I need to leave for the sake of peace. No way. Auntie Sophia, you are going nowhere. You know I love you so much, right? And my brother as well loves you. Come on. I mean, we can't even afford to lose you to the so-called evangelist Mary or whatever her name is. That Mary is actually the reason everything is happening. And she needs to be cautioned seriously. Exactly. Yes, Auntie. We need to stand up and fight her. We need to bring her down. Put her in her rightful place. I... I can't imagine myself fighting another woman over a man. Come on, there are things I can't do. <sighs> there you go. There you go, Auntie Sophia. Listen, Auntie. We need to do something about this. I mean, you can't just sit all day, all night, crying because some sort of useless woman took away your man from you. Auntie, come on. Listen, the kingdom of God suffers violence and only the violent take it by force. Let that sink. Down here. <laughs> so you still remember this house? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> You ran away from here. I can't even remember when last you visited. Um, hmm? it, it's not like that. It's actually because of work. It's just that work has been very stressful. 
it's just from the house to the office, from the office back to the house. So mm, it's see. been a very stressful routine. <laughs> That's how a man builds. Soon he expands and then boom, they start calling him a ritualist. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, uh, let me go straight to the point, I mean, my reason for coming. It's actually about Elliot. Um, he has been complaining about a lot of things, especially the fact that bothers on um, who he should get married to. My son, Elliot. Your friend is very stubborn and heady. See how responsible and presentable your woman is. That's what I want for my son. A responsible and presentable woman. Not someone that reeks of alcohol at times. <clears throat> when we got him some responsible woman to marry and he refused insisting he was going to get married to that drunk well never daddy i would like to appreciate you for your compliment thanks so much the fact that she drinks alcohol doesn't make her a bad woman I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have to understand that drinking is a lifestyle and everyone is entitled to his or her own lifestyle. Yes, you are right. Everyone has the right to decide how to behave, but not in this house. No, not in this house. In this house, we don't accommodate bad behavior. Hmm? Bad and ill-mannered people do not have a space in this house. I hope both of you heard her. My house is a house for mentally balanced people, not for drunks. Um, sir, I totally understand what you're saying. But this drinking thing we're talking about is something that happens once in a blue moon. And Sophia, Sophia has every attribute a wife material should have. My son, don't stress yourself over these things. Let us discuss something more important and beneficial. Um, when was the last time you spoke to your parents? How is your father? Is he doing? Is he okay? Yes, I is doing good, sir. Mm -hmm. What can we offer you? Drinks or food? Water will do. Water will do. Water. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm correct, eh, you two stopped me, blocked my way, just to tell me to stop seeing my man? Excuse me. Who is your man, if I may ask? <laughs> Mary or whatever they call you. Please. Stay away from my relationship, eh? Stay away from Elliot because we already have plans of getting married. Man snatcher. Mm. Man snatcher, that is what you are. You heard her correctly, right? My problem is that my brother does not even like you and yet you push yourself on him. What is your problem? Daughters of Jezebel, you know there's just one reason I'm letting you two go freely. The Holy Spirit. If not, if not, I would have poured fire on you too. Oh! <laughs> Who is supposed to pour the fire? Seriously? Collect what? Seriously, you want collect to collect what? With the Holy Spirit now. Up, up, Jesus, down, down, Satan. Hey, up, up, hey, Jesus, hey. down, down, see, see, Satan. See, 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 up, 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 Jesus, Jesus, down, down, Satan. Up, up, Jesus, down, down, Satan. <laughs> Holy Ghost! I destroy you, Holy Ghost! Hey, stop that rubbish! What are you up, doing? Up, up, Jesus, down, down, Satan. Up, up, Jesus, down, down, Satan.
can't I have some peace of mind in this house? What is it? Why did you send your friend to come and disturb my own peace? That I have no idea what you're talking about. I did not send anyone to do anything here. Please, can I just rest my head? I've been through a lot today, Dad. Please. I see. Look, I'll so deal with you. You think you have grown, eh? You think you can now talk back at me? For your information, I'm about to write my will. And by the time I get to do that, if you're still messing around with this girl, you'll not get anything out of my will. Dad, you can go ahead and do what you want. I'm tired. Look, you'll soon get the shock of your life. I will will everything I have, including this house, to your sister, Mabel. I am not interested in your properties, Dad. Yes, not even this house. So you have to do the need for. Dad, can you stop threatening my brother with your will? Or you can as well will your properties to the self-acclaimed evangelist and let my brother be. Brother, mm. your woman is inside. She's calling me. What is the meaning of this? Are you traveling without me? Elliot, I am sick and tired of this house. I need to leave you alone for the sake of peace. Babe, I'm sick and tired of this house too. Okay. What am I even doing here? My father has taken everything away from me. One day he's going to kick us out. What are you trying to insinuate here? If you're leaving, then I'm leaving too. No. No, 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 no. I am the problem here. I am the one who needs to leave. You need to stay back and make peace with your parents. Marry the woman they have chosen for you, and everything they took from you will be restored. You are my peace. You are my peace. Without you, I have no peace of mind. You are my woman. I will not marry another. No one, nobody is going to choose anyone for me. I don't care what they do. I don't care what my father does or my mom. We're in this together. And I'm going to leave with you. So get ready. I'll be right back. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. All right, no problems. I'm at home. All right. All right, right. Who was that? Elliot. What does he want? He says he wants to come over and drop some stuff here. So, what does he want to drop here? You know he's been going through a lot, okay? Probably he wants to bring some stuff he doesn't want to lose. I really pity him and his fiancée. And I do envy the love they have for each other too. Saying staying strong and together despite all this is not easy. Yeah, I know. I know, and I'm sure he will pull through. <sighs> So what have you been doing inside? I was chatting with a few of my girlfriends. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> where, where are you going without informing me? 
informing you. As what exactly? Informing you as how? Do you deserve to know where I'm going to? Of course I deserve to know where you're going to. I own you. I own this house. I own everybody and everything inside this house. So every movement in and out of this house should be with my information. Not this one. Not this one, Dad. And for your information, I'm throwing away the woman that you and Mom don't want me to see. Finally, you've won. The problem is that she can't leave while I'm still here. So I am leaving your house. Babe, seriously, this is not cool. You just let me go, okay? Why are you reconciled with your parents? I don't want to be the reason you discard your family. Shh, say no more. They want you out. I will leave this house. You can go ahead and marry the woman you've been forcing me to, to be with since she's the one you want. If you walk through that door, I'll so deal with you. <laughs> what else can you do to me, Dad? You already took my car because you bought it for me. You already banned me from the company because you own it. You already froze all my accounts because you started and opened all of them while I was still a child. And even the ones I opened, you have taken it away from me because you pay me and you give me money, right? And what? You decided to will all your property to some stranger. What else can you do to me, Dad? Kill me! Goodbye. Mom, I've made up my mind. I am going. I'm not going anywhere. You know I love you so much. Please don't go. If you leave this house, everywhere is going to be boring for me. I love you too, my baby. I love you too, my baby. But I can't cope any longer. Okay? Don't worry. I will always keep in touch to know how you're doing. Hands are heavy. Okay, no more problem. Come, come, come in, come in. Come in. Thank you. I needed to leave that house. I need to stay here until I can find an apartment for myself. I'm sorry I didn't give you all the details oh, on the phone. Come on, you don't have to be. I have enough space here to accommodate all of us. Thank you. Uh, no problems. Let's go in, please. Let's go in. Ma, please, eh, are you trying to say that he left the house with her to come back or he just left? He said he isn't coming back to the house and he left with her. Ma, if you ask me, I'll say I should just give up. Oh. Ever since this idea of your son and I getting married was initiated, I have not had peace. And uh, your son doesn't like me, obviously. Ma, please, I, I just feel that I should stay on my own. Let him stay on his own. I don't like 
problem, so. My daughter, where is your faith? I thought you said you were a strong believer of uh, 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 miracle and the uh, uh, power of God. Hmm? You just have to relax. My, my son will come back. My son will marry you. Hmm? There is no two ways about it. He will marry you. Ma, I'm tired of praying about this. Look at, your son has left the house. Probably he won't even return. Just believe. I am assuring you. He is going to come back. Hmm? When he's come, he will return back. Just if I just relax, go into the town, go and look for any wedding gown of your choice. The wedding is already done, done and dusted. It's, it will end the happiness. Okay, ma. Some days are lonely days. I never want to be the victim of circumstance. Some nights are lonely nights. I never want to be used for Sophia, will you ever put a smile on that face of yours? My dear, I am really saddened and bothered knowing that I am the reason Elliot left his father's house. You should rather be happy. This he has done to prove his love for you. Elliot loves you so much. You know. Some some guys will just listen to their parents and and let go of you. Exactly what I wanted from him. I told him severally, but he wouldn't listen. And you think it's easy for him to let go of a woman he loves and cherish just to please his parents? Elliot really loves you, and that's why he's doing all this, to compel his parents to approve of you people's marriage. Willie, it's not easy on my side, too. I can't imagine life without Elliot, but... Stop. Stop crying. Everything will be okay. Look, when this hurts, just remember that you are in the hands of a young man who truly loves and cherishes you and can go as far as leaving his parents and all his properties just to protect the love he has for you. Please, my dear, stop crying. Everything will be fine. Okay? <laughs> Please, cheer up. <laughs> Put a smile on that face. <laughs> you know you look cuter when you smile like that. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl. It's okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mabel. Please, could you help me to get some things from the trunk? I'm going nowhere, Mom. Please, nobody should send me on an errand in this house again if you don't bring back my brother. How dare you talk to me like that? Okay. Eh? I believe I've made my points clear. You and Dad should do the needful. Bring back my only brother and his fiancée. If not... get to this level. I didn't know that Elliot would even have considered leaving this house. How much more implementing it? Is it because of Elliot you're like this? 
Stop bothering yourself. For all we know, that boy could be somewhere enjoying himself with that witch. And you're here. Remember you have BP. Who is talking about BP here? I haven't seen my son. And you're talking about BP. The BP can rise for all I care. No. Don't worry. He will come back. I assure you that he will. Has Mabel served you your meal yet? Mabel, that one that has sworn not to do anything in this house until we bring back her brother Elliot. She has even threatened to run away from the house too. So, that stupid girl is serious about this madness. Anyway, I will show deal with her. By the time I'm done with her, she will know that I am her mother and she can never be, be, be stupid. Because of one stupid girl she, she fell in love with. Let me go and get something for you to eat. Huh? So, as it stands now, what's your next line of action? First of all, it feels good to be away from that family. I have my freedom. I can breathe. I can do whatever I want. As for your question, I think the next thing I have to do is to look for a job and start making money for my wedding. I need to get married to my woman and fast. Are you indirectly telling me you're not going back to that house again? Which house? That prison. A house where my parents make all the decisions. I don't have an opinion. A house where my father has threatened to will his property to a stranger. Is that the house you want me to go back to? <laughs> Elliot. Is there no other way to sort the whole thing out without you separating yourself from the family? I decided to live my life. I'm going to live it. And I'll live it well and... <laughs> And I'm going to enjoy it without my parents. I'm not an extension of anyone. I'm not here to please anybody. I don't care about what they do or say. Which reminds me, I think I need to look for an apartment, a house to rent. I, I don't want to keep disturbing you and your babe. Come on, man. Nobody says you're disturbing me. I mean, the house is large enough to accommodate all of us. It's just that I don't understand why he's freezing your accounts. Don't mind him. He froze all my accounts because he opened them for me. He thinks by freezing them, denying me access to the company, threatening to will his property, I will pipe low. I'm never going to leave my woman. Never. I have other accounts that he doesn't know about. So we're good. So, which of the areas are you planning on renting your apartment? Praise the Lord. And what are you doing here? Um, mother said that you're cleaning in the kitchen, so I decided to help you. And the last time I checked, I didn't ask for your help. Come on, Mabel, for how long will you continue to act weird? I just decided to help and you've been this Hey, 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 listen, Mary or whatever your name is, if you don't leave this kitchen this minute, you won't like what I will do to you. Get out! <laughs> Touch not my anointed and my prophet do no harm. And who anointed you? Well... Um, it will interest you to know that I am an anointed woman with the oil on my head. I have the Holy Ghost anointing on my head. And it is that Holy Ghost that will finish you. Yes, that Holy Ghost will thunder you, will fire you, will do everything bad to you. Now leave this place. Okay, it's fine. Get out! It's fine, it's fine. God bless you. Ah, 
Sophia, what exactly do you want me to do? I need you to please help me talk to him. I believe he would certainly listen to you. He needs to go back home. Sophia, he doesn't want to. I mean, had it been the agent he contracted to get a house for him did not travel, I mean, he would have moved into his own apartment. Elliot doesn't want to go back to that house. He needs to go back. I... It's been almost one month he left home. I know he's doing this to protect the love he has for me, but this is too much. He can't, he can't disown his own family for my sake. But that is what he wants to do. I mean, what do you want me to do in that situation? Employ any means you can, please. I'm ready to give up this relationship. I'm ready to let go, I, even though it's not easy for me, but... I know he's doing all this to make me happy and himself too, but leaving his, leaving his own family, that's not okay. You've seen me talk to him about this severally, right? How do I make a grown man do what he doesn't want to do? Some days are lonely days. I never want to be the victim of seconds. Dad, please. You people should do anything it takes to bring back my brother. I can't even believe myself. I can't believe that Elliot, my son, will disown me, his father, because of a woman. Dad! Dad, what are you even saying? Dad, you and mom disowned my brother first. By denying him the, the, the freedom of whom to spend the rest of his life with. Will you keep quiet then? Shut up, Mabel. What are you talking about? Hmm? We are only trying to save your brother from the looming doom that will befall him if he marries that girl. And you are talking about freedom. What do you know about freedom? Oh, silent. Silent, woman. Silent, all of you. I want to talk to my son. I want to talk to my son. How do you want to do that? Your son? has not been picking up his calls. So tell me, how do you want to get across to him? For all we care, he could be in a different city now. And if you are talking about you, yes, sir. Maybe this cannot continue. Go and get me my phone. I have to talk to my son. Elliot, my problem with you is that you are as stubborn as your parents. I don't care. Whatever you say, I don't care. My mind is made up. Your mind is made up? Your mind is made up over a girl who doesn't feel anything for you anymore. Someone who has asked you severally to return home so that she can move on and hold nothing against you. <laughs> Guy, do you think she's saying those things with her free mind? Do you think she's going to be happy losing me? You think she's comfortable? Look, the only reason why she's saying all of those things is so that nobody can blame her when something bad happens. Besides, if she has squid on us, I haven't. And I won't. So, who is this person calling you that you've refused to take his call? It's my father, who was. Do you even know the reason he's calling you? I don't care. He can call me a thousand times for a thousand reasons. I don't care. What if he's calling you to tell you to go and marry the woman you want to marry? I don't care. I don't need his approval. I'm not going back to that house. I have no business with that house. Besides, do you know if that house agent is back?
Silver. Oh my God, why did you keep disturbing me? What is it? Where are you headed? I already told you inside the house that the house agent is back and I need to see him. Oh, babe, why are you this stubborn? I've told you several times to stop all this. Babe, let's quit for the sake of your parents, especially your dad who's been calling for long. So what exactly are you trying to say? Same thing I've been saying. I'm ready to accept the situation as it has turned out to be. I, 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 I know you, you're trying to ensure that I don't get hurt. I know you're trying to save our age-long relationship, but babe, come on. You've got to go home. Go home? Which home? I have no home. I have no place to call a home. I can't go back to that place where they treat me like a stranger, where they, they completely deny me access to everything that makes that place a home. For what? You can't, you can't leave your family, your own family. Come on. I'd rather stay with the woman I love than to go to a place where my opinions are not respected. See, this is the last time I want you to talk about this. I don't want to ever talk about this again. Please. Some days are lonely days. I never want to be the victim of circumstance. Some nights are lonely nights. I never want to be used for the experiment Mabel! 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 Oh my god! What in God's name? When will you realize that I don't need you around me? When? This is not a matter of you needing me or not. It's a matter of life and death. Your father is about to kill himself. My Come. dad? Yes! What? Oh, we need to go. No, no. Give me the key. Give me the key. Stop acting like a child. What is it? Stop acting like a child. Who is acting like a child? How can I live with the shame of my son disowning me while I see Brit? Let me have my car key and go somewhere with my car and knock myself down and let it end everything. No, no you will not. Give me. Give me the key. What is it? No, what is it? No, what is it? No, what is it? What is what? Your father wants to go and kill himself. Why? Why, 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 should I, why should I be here? When all this all... Look, get away from here. Ah, no! Give me the car keys! No. Let me just go and end this. What? What? Let me go and end this nonsense! Your life matters now! Where are you going with this girl? How many times have I told you I don't want to see this girl anywhere near my house? Now, get out! Take her away from here! Father, I can take anything from you. I can take anything from you, but you embarrassing me before my woman, I will not take. Now, what? get out of my sight! Dad. Dad, will you stop this? Stop this and get up, please! Dad, get out from here! It's not... Daddy. Dad. Dad? Oh my god. Dad? 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 No, 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 no. Dad! No, 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 no. Are you good? Yes, hello, Mabel. What? Wait. Come back now.
Yes. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. What is wrong with him? I don't know. He didn't say anything. I just hope everything is okay. Can you people just leave me alone? Let me go and do what I wanted to do. No. Or let me pull the No, 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 Allow me to take the car and go and do what I originally planned. Or well, let me put this. Hey, no, 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 Jesus, no, no, Jesus, no, no, Jesus, no, 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 Why would you think of killing yourself? Like, seriously? He ran away from the house. You didn't even bother to care to come back. You didn't even bother about me. You refused to take my calls. What is the, what's the reason to continue living? Better end it all. No. no. So, so please. I beg you in the name of whatever you believe in, please don't take your life. I have decided to move on with my life. While Elliot settles with the woman you both have chosen for him. Elliot and I had always had this plan of being together forever, but it's not worth the life of anyone here. I love Elliot so much, and he loves me too, but he did what he did because of our love, I believe, but not any longer. I am I'm going to accept the heartbreak, the pain, the agony this will cost me for your sake, sir. <laughs> I thank you all for the little good time we had together and I wish every one of you the best. Sweetheart, I am so sorry but we can't go beyond here. Your father's life is worth more than Whatever feelings we have for each other. I'm sorry. Good luck in your new relationship. So this is your new trickery. So this is your new wickedness and trickery, Dad. This is it. Your new wickedness and complete trickery to take your own life. You want the world to rise up against me and say that my father killed himself because of my woman? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that woman is gone. She's gone, Dad. She's gone. My future, my wife, my only hope for a successful and peaceful marriage. She's gone. Why don't you go ahead and pull the trigger, Dad? Yeah, pull the trigger. Pull the fucking trigger. Let's find out what happens next. Elliot, come back here! Dad,
It feels good to be back home. So finally, Sophie and Elliot are separated forever. <laughs> this life is mysterious, you know. That is life for you. Whatever has a beginning has an end. You know, the, the worst thing that can happen to anybody is having parents that doesn't listen or understand their children's feelings. For me, I don't see Elliot being happy in that marriage. All you need to do now is just to pray for him. Pray for him to have a peaceful marriage. That's all. Well, we will pray for him. I just pray he has a peaceful home. Please, maybe I'm going inside. I'm tired. Um, my leg. Hot. Mm -hmm. See, once again, I want to thank you for the opportunity to let me get close to you. You see, I've always had an eye on you, but I never knew how to approach you because you, you kind of look intimidating. <laughs> intimidating? Please, I'm a very calm and nice person. So what's the intimidating thing? Your beauty alone is intimidating. Let alone your height, your shape, everything about you is kind of... Please, stop it, okay? This is an open place. I do not want to blush too much. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> but thank you for letting me into your life. Thank you for finding me worthy to be your woman. Thank you for healing my wounded heart. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, my dear. You must welcome. Okay, let's finish up our drink. Okay. Mm. All right. Take it easy. Easy, easy, I'm easy. Fine. easy. I'm good. I'm very fine. <sighs> would definitely help. Enjoyed your sleep. Just there. Okay. Well, Mabel has been in the kitchen mm. making breakfast, and I think it would be nice if you can give her help. Hmm? You want me to go help her? Yeah. Ha. My mom is also there in the kitchen with her. I don't think it's nice that they are both in the kitchen working. And you're here sleeping. Mm, it's easy now. If they cannot cook, if they are lazy, or if they are tired, they should rest now. Nobody even force them to cook. <sighs> <sighs> you're joking, right? You, you can't be serious. Does my face look funny? If you please, um, you met me while I was sleeping. Allow me to have my beauty sleep, please. When you're well. Uh, Reduce the AC or everywhere is cold. Uh, 
I'm good, you're fine. Yes, babe, I'm fine. I'm so sorry for yesterday. I know you must be embarrassed over my inability to control myself. Honestly, I didn't expect you to drink to the point where you wouldn't control yourself. I'm so sorry. To think that this is exactly the major reason my ex's parents didn't want their son to get married to me. Okay, listen babe, we will work this out together. Hmm? This alcohol intake, we will control it, right? It's only take us a little time. Hmm? Okay, babe. Mm. Mm. Thanks, baby. So, what would you like to have for breakfast? What would you want to give me for breakfast? What do you want? You know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of the breakfast, you should clean the house, uh, dust the television, and mop. That is the routine. Well, what do you mean by that is the routine? Do I look like one who's here for routines? Mary! Yes. Are you alright? Uh huh. Are you? <clears throat> this is strange. All I've asked is for you to help out. You cannot leave Mebo to do everything. Since she's doing that, you can at least help out. Please, I want to get something right. Did you guys marry me into this house so I could take orders from you? Or what? No, nobody's saying that. It's just that it's the house we are living in. At least you help tie the things. Please, eh? If you need a house help, you should go get one because I am not here to take orders from you. I mean, this is my husband's house for crying out loud. So what's all this? Huh? This should be the very last time that you ask me to do anything in this house. What's all this now? I just got married and you want to use work to, 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 to destroy my life. Can I pass, ma? Thank you. My goodness. Is this what my son is married to? Hey! Elliot! It's Elliot! It's so funny how you judge the egg covered ha! in its shell. Oh, mess up. Yeah. Eh? Babe, eh? This drink is not as strong as I thought. Nah, eh. But when the guy was describing this thing and, and telling me this about the drink, this and that, I was thinking that with one drop would just make us go gaga. This will not be shy you now. <laughs> Don't worry, by the time we're done with this, you will definitely go gaga. By the way, let's make a toast mm. to a beautiful and a wonderful home. A multi-million naira home in luxury. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Mom, take a look at. This is the so-called evangelist you brought in for my brother to marry. What is going on here? Is this a dream or something? I should be asking you more. Mary. Is this not alcohol? Mary. I thought you said you are a child of the most high and the an evangelist. Hey, oh God, keep quiet, Joe. What's wrong with you? Go inside. Mario, <laughs> join us and celebrate. Uh -uh. I wonder why you complain. Me, mommy, you. You, Mary, you asked me to go inside. Why are you touching? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Get inside! 
My head is in instruction. Babe, please, let's leave you. My If you don't leave me, I'll break your head. Come on. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. This is just the beginning. You've not seen anything. Ew. It's so funny how you judge. My eyes. My eyes. You don't see. I'm telling you, seriously. So what is the club manager now? It's so funny how Absolutely you nothing, but just the moping at me. <laughs> what would be the fun? My daughter. What are you doing? <laughs> Pop smile. How can you be asking such questions? As you can see, my friend and I are having a good time. Catching form? You call this catching form? You're defiling my house with smoke! And you call it catching form? What is the matter with you? And since when has he become an offense for one to do what he or she liked? Besides, we are only feasting on our favorites and there is absolutely nothing wrong with anyone here. You don't do that in my house! My husband's house! So I have the right to do whatever I wish. You have no right to tell me what to do and what not to do. Got it? <coughs> Old man. <coughs> Babes, let's go catch the phone in the room. Of course. Mm. Phone, <coughs> lighter. Let's go. It's so funny how you judge the egg covered in its shells. <coughs> Without looking on the... What is wrong with you? What is wrong with your mother? What's wrong with your father? Can't you guys let me be? Well, I will never let you guys control me. Then never! Control yourself! Control yourself because I can't live like this. Elliot, if you cannot condole my lifestyle, then you just let me be. What stupid lifestyle exactly are you talking about? What stupid, useless lifestyle? Listen, if you don't control... You your don't raise your voice at me, Elliot! I am not your servant, okay? Are you raising your voice at me? Who are you? Who married who here? Ah! Oh my god! Are, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, you want to slap me? You're hitting me! Oh, you want you're to slap me? You just hit me now! You, you just hit me, me now! Woman Peter! Come and hit me! Hit me! I'll kill you! And you hit me! How dare you, Elliot? You hit me! You slap me! I'll kill you in this house! Let me be, woman! You raised a woman Peter! That's who he is! Shame on you! Don't do that. Just let me be. Just let me be. Let me be. Ah! Let me be. Get out. Everyone, get out. The angel you don't know. She's oh, ruined. The devil you know. Yeah. What? So Elliot, he dares lay his fingers on you. Oh. Is he is he, he mad or something? He's crazy. Like, he wants to cage me all because he got married to me. He now hits me, he just wants to talk and he won't let me talk too. <gasps> Elliot has beaten more than he can chew. Exactly. <sighs> he don't buy my kettle. Hmm. He can't do this to you and get away with no, it. No, no, he doesn't know who he got married to. Please, we need to do something. We need to pay back. Of I need to do course. something. What do I do, please? We can't let this go. We need, to, we need to teach him a lesson. A lesson he wouldn't forget in a hurry. Exactly. Well, what do you think I should do? What's the plan? You know, just come with me. Okay, let's go. Who is here to save you? Not to kill. Daniel, I'm finished. I'm finished. I, I don't understand. You can't believe it. What is finishing you? You can't believe it that that so-called evangelist I married is the most wayward human being I've ever met. She drinks the, the driest, uh, dry gin. The hardest of the kind. She smokes Indian hemp. And she disrespects every single person in my house. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was just a matter of time before things like this would start unfolding. That's why for once I've never had faith in all these self-acclaimed workers of the Most High. So, she has been hiding her true identity all this while. Bro. Bro. And that's not even the last of it. Just a few days of marrying this woman and she has set my entire house ablaze. Spewing words, abuses, insults to my parents. 
raising her voice at me. Just imagine the creature you lost Sophia because of. The Mother Mary that made your parents force Sophia out of your life. I hope by now they must be regretting their actions. I don't care. I don't care. Daniel, how do I cope with this? That is what I want to know. How do I deal with this situation? How do I cope in a marriage like this? What do I do? I'm, I'm so confused. I don't care about my parents. Oh, babe. Easy, right? Okay, um, this is the challenge for today. We're going to spend at least 30 minutes to finish the content in this cup. 30 minutes to finish this little thing? Yes. Okay, babe, I figured you rush your drinks. And when you do that, it's so hard to ascertain the level of intoxication in your system. Like when you go that quick, you don't even know when you exceed your limit and then you lose control. You're right. I usually do not know when I lose guard. Okay. So we're going to take this bit by bit. And you trust your body, right? Okay. You should know when to stop. Okay. Cool? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> My baby. We'll beat this. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why I won't beat you here. Holy Spirit is in me. If not, I would have slapped you to death. Holy Are you crazy? Mom, Mary and her friend messed up my room. I only asked her to go and clean it up and she's here ranting. Mary, now listen to me. Henceforth, I don't want to see that your useless friend in this house. Says who? Hmm? This is my husband's house, so you have no right to tell me whosoever I bring here. Right? Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus! Mom, were you hot? Hot or not? You see who you brought into my house? You see the angel that you brought into my house? You are the one that came and said she was an angel. You said she's evangelist. She preaches on the road. Here and there. Here and there. You see, you see the devil you have brought into my house? It's funny how you judge The egg covered in its shells Hello? Yes. What? Where? Which which hospital? Which hospital? Where? I need to 
rush to the hospital. Hospital? Elliot's younger sister just called me. I said Elliot and his father are in critical condition in the hospital. What? Elliot that just left this house? Yes. Babe, I don't know what is going on, but I need to go there first. Alright, I'll see you when I get back. Okay, baby. Take care of yourself. Hospital. Just wow. You know, I can't believe I've been able to subdue the urge to take alcohol for a while now, despite having them everywhere around this house. Wow. I'm amazed by the changes. Okay, babe, let's not even talk about changes yet till we're done with all the therapy. But I assure you, you'll be amazed by the results. You're just the best, baby. Thank you for taking this problem of mine personal. Our problem. Always remember that. And you know I love you. And I love you dearly, sweetheart. I appreciate you for accepting an imperfect me with all my shortcomings. Thank you for all the efforts you've made so far to help me. I cherish you, my king. Same here, my queen. Same here. Whatever that has kept Daniel at the hospital all through the day must be very serious. Because his soul has gone already. What? Chief died a few hours ago. Oh my God. Are you serious? You know, the most annoying part of this whole thing is the fact that Mary is actually responsible for all of this. She gathered some boys to beat up Elliot because Elliot beat her up. No way. Is that girl really that, that evil? That girl is mean. That girl is the devil's incarnate. According to Mabel, she said she slumped and that was the end of it. You see? You see the outcome of being so stubborn. They forced this marriage so they should face the consequences. Chief shouldn't have died. He should have lived longer to see the outcome of his stubbornness. So baby, how is Elliot? Baby? You're good to go. Eh? Okay. All the best that's worked today, baby. And you take good care of yourself. I will. All right. Come here. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. Thank you. <laughs> this is the strangest death I've ever witnessed in my entire life. But we cannot question God.
I still can't believe that my dad is dead. Oh, the next thing would be getting that girl properly dealt with. Well, she's already in police custody. And you think I'll remain there? Hmm? Very. <laughs> Go and check my records. I have never slept at the police cell. No matter what I do, I will never sleep there. Wait. Were you trying to use the law to get me down? <laughs> Come on. The Lord knows who it holds down and who it respects. Surprise! It's me. It's Mary. You think you have the police? I have the police, I have the army, I have area boys, I have... Now what have you? The emperors, the champions, lions, everybody! I have them! So don't you ever think that you can keep me down at the police station. Don't even dare it again. I'm famished. What do you guys cook? Come, let's go to the kitchen. The victim of seconds. <laughs> Some nights are lonely nights. I never wanna be used Where's to my baby? Experiment. Babe? Sweetheart, where are you? Oh. Ah. <laughs> You know how to joke, right? <laughs> Come on. How are you? I'm very well for baby. <laughs> so, um... How was your day at work? Oh, work was stressful, but I, I think I'm good. I'm uh, good. Yes. Okay, babe, I... Oh, babe! Before the gist. Okay. Just hold on. I have a surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> Just chill! Okay, okay. Ta da <laughs> hmm. Babe? Yes. You pregnant? Yes, baby. You pregnant? Yes, baby. <laughs> ah, come here, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Baby. This is the best news I've had all day. Yes, baby. We're gonna have a baby. Sure. We're gonna have a baby. Yeah. God. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You wanted to tell me something. You can now say it. <laughs> yes. Yes, babe. <sighs> Marry me. I wonder. Hey, 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 hey. If you move this place, I will design your face too. Hey, you that Chris? And that's Chris? for you. And that's for you. Mm. You are going to be returned back to your parents. Yes. Yeah. We don't want to marry you anymore. Okay. Get out of this place. Which marriage? We don't want to. You and who they marry? This house belongs to your old husband, and he is dead and gone. By inheritance, it belongs to my husband and I. So please, eh, go inside there. You see all those your nasty, nasty, nonsense, nonsense clothes? Go pack them and leave this place. Go to your parents' house. That's where you belong. This house now belongs to me and my husband. So get out. Which husband? My husband. You can't get out. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, open this thing. Madam, open the door. You didn't lock, bro. Go. Hey, five back. Hey, five back. Go. I'm talking about this marriage. I'm tired of this marriage. What are you trying to say in essence? What I'm trying to say is that I am tired of this marriage and I want out. Wow. I kept quiet all this time because I needed to bury my dad. Now it's been months. And you haven't changed. And you won't change. So it's time you go see your parents. It's time you go back there. Mm. Yeah, I want a divorce. <laughs> okay, um, Elliot, um, you and I know that marriage 
is two-sided. You want out? I don't want out. Look, look, I don't want to descend on you with anger. I need you to leave my house immediately. <laughs> immediately! Well, I can see that you're fully recovered from the little lesson I taught you. Don't let me teach you more lessons. Because if I do, the next weekend you celebrate will be beneath the earth. Alright? Is that a threat? I'm not as weak as you are to issue threats. Dare me. My brother, I don't know how to handle this situation anymore. We need to get that girl out of this house. Because as far as I'm concerned, she doesn't deserve a single space in this compound. I told her it's over. She told me she's not ready to leave yet. I called her parents. And they told me never to call them back again, that I'm on my own. What, what kind of a problem is this? You see what you've caused? You and my parents. When I was busy fighting them, you were telling me to marry her. You see what both of you have caused? <laughs> Elliot, I was only trying to maintain peace and nothing more. But as it stands now, I think we have to use the security agents to get out of this house. When that woman says she has the army, police, cultists and area boys under her, you... You thought she was joking? Wait. Does it mean we can't arrest her with the police? My brother, what you don't know will forever remain a mystery to you. I don't know. So, what's your next line of action? Where do you think you're going? Are you talking to me or? No, your great grandmother. Where do you think you're going? Hey! Okay. I am going to see a friend of mine. Oh, you are going to see a friend of yours. Obviously, one of those your friends that teach you how to come scatter my marriage, right? I'm just going to... Go inside! Change all this rubbish you have on. When you're done changing, come out. I need to keep you busy. Lazy Drew. Are you still here? I said get inside and change! Okay. If you want to see the demon in here, at the count of three and you're still here, <laughs> I'll be so sorry for you. One! Control two and a half. Listen attentively. I want you to concentrate on the and peace. This one. Then take why don't mix my whites with other colors so because I don't even know if you know how to wash. I wouldn't want you to use this wash machine. This other one, the shorts, concentrate on the waist, the waistline, okay? Then the duvet. I poured stew on it when I was what is going on here? I poured stew on the duvet, so I want you to wash it. Mary, are you mad or something? Like, is something actually wrong with your brain? Why would you order my mother to wash clothes? Don't involve yourself in this, or... Or what? Yes, I ask you. Or what? Get out from here! Get out! Get out! Mabel, what did you just do to my clothes? And I will do it again. Didn't I want you to stay alone? Didn't I want you? Are you mad? Are you mad? I think you touch me, I will kill you! I will not do anything!
making jest of our mom. So, why are you disturbing me with this? What is my business? Is that all you have to say? Listen, I don't care. Who brought that girl into this house? Wasn't it mom? Wasn't it mom? I don't want to care or know anything about them. They can do whatever they want to themselves. And let this be the last time you bring this to me. I don't want to be disturbed with this. Yes, I know you're right. They have every right to do whatever thing they want to themselves. But this is our mother we are talking about here. Listen, if you do not get out of here, I'm going to deal with you now. Get out! Can I have the key to the jeep? Elliot. You must be mad. You must be really mad. Which car are you talking about? What sort of stupid question is that? How many jeeps did your dead poor father leave for you, aside from the white one? Huh? Please give me the, 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 the key, please. I need to cruise with my friends. The sooner you understand that my calmness is not cowardice, the better for you. Well... My friend, I will you shut up? I'm still talking. You can go ahead and tell those your army men, your soldiers, your police, your area boys, your cultists, whatever it is. Tell them everything ends and yours is coming soon. Now get out of my sight. You just raised your voice at me. Haha. <laughs> Don't play stubborn here, oh. Do not play stubborn, Elliot. Don't forget the wife you got married to. Do not. The key. I wish I could write the story. Where the hell did you keep the key? Where the hell is the key? If I make a call now, the boys will be... Always fight for the Where is this rubbish? That the lost hope be found. I always tell people to never Babe? Babe, are you okay? I just think my water just broke. Your water just broke? Yes, please, please, please. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Oh, please. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. What is going on here? Mary, did you force my mom to file your nails? Mm hmm. Who was there in filing my nails? What if I did, eh? Huh? Is she not a woman? Mom, stop that right now. Madam, don't try to. Do not try me. Continue what you're doing. Mom, I said stop that right now. Oh my god! Oh my Oh my god! Are you crazy? Are you mad? Have you forgotten what I'm capable of doing? Yes, I did. You slapped me. Mm -hmm. ah! Yes, so. Yes, so. It has happened. Yes, so. Ah, my God, thank you. Son beats mother. Oh, 
Oh God, thank you for answering my prayer. So oppose those who oppose me, Lord, and fight those who fight against. So, what exactly do you need me to do for you? I have plans. Okay. Of how to get Mary and those boys she hangs around with. Already the police officer that granted her bail has been arrested for allegedly sleeping with him. And they did. And he granted her bail all while she was still under investigation, thereby breaching the code of conduct of the police department. Wait, I, I don't understand. Are you trying to say that she sorted her way out of the police cell with her body? Yes. Okay. Yes. And she's expecting that it will still continue. And that's where we'll catch her. Already I've gone to the new DPO. And I shared my plans. We are going to get her and those boys arrested. Okay. And that's where you come in. So, what do you need me to do? Uh, oh, yes, I'm ready. Your men are there already. Okay, no problem. I'm going there to meet up. All right, no problems. Thank you, sir. Hey, keep calling, keep calling them. Where are they? I just can't wait for them to get They're here. They're not picking. Eh? Just keep trying. Once they get here, two seconds is all over. They're not picking. They're just keep doing trying. Nobody keep nobody trying. Picking. Um, Mary and Clara. What's going on here? Both of you are under arrest. Sorry? Ah. For attempted murder and assault. Oh, um, no, we, we, I, 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 I think you got the wrong girl, I, not... You were expecting your voice, right? Boys? Both of them have been arrested. Madam Mary, I thought you know how to play the game. Hmm? I thought you know how to play the game. But now all I see is just an empty vessel making horrible noise. You and your so-called boys will be prosecuted. Wait, I, I, I need to... Officer, take her away from here. I, I, I need a lawyer. Take I, I, this I, thing I away from here now. I need to speak here. to my lawyer, please. I need to speak to my Which lawyer. lawyer? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not even capable of killing anyone. What does that mean? Mean? I think you, you got the wrong girl. I'm you. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not capable of murdering anybody. I, I, I can't even do that. I can't hold a fly. I can't do anything like that. I can't even hold a fly.
You have to excuse me. Mom! Mom! Officer, I need to talk to my husband. I need to speak to my husband. Please! It's a conspiracy. I can't do this I want to fly. Mom! I have you to thank for standing for me. This really means a lot. Thank you. You talk big man anytime. And as for you, Mom. Can you see? Please forgive me. Forgive me, your mother. I am so sorry. I didn't know that she's she isn't what she preached. I didn't know she's different. Please. Please, if it's possible, I'm begging you. Hmm? Please bring back Sophie. I will accept her. I will gladly accept her. That won't be possible, Mom. Sophie and I had a chat and she told me that she has put to bed for her husband. Whoa. Interesting. Mom, you've seen the outcome of this whole thing. You see why it's important for you to allow people make their choices and you respect those choices. You forced Mary on Elliot, and now you've seen the outcome of it. That you carry Bible all the time doesn't make you holy. And for the fact that you don't, doesn't make you evil either. I believe we all have learnt our lessons. I have learnt, oh. I have learnt. Chai! I wish I could write the story. For me, Because, huh? We shall never the one. It's alright, big brother. It's fine. To always fight for the things that are for me. Wish that the lost hope be found. I always tell people, people, to never judge a book by his cover and Tell people, people to never judge a book by its cover and they simple. Yeah. No, nobody is perfect, nobody is a saint. The world is filled with pretense. Oh no, no, nobody. Nobody's perfect, nobody's innocent, this world is filled with pretense, oh no, nobody's perfect, nobody's innocent, this world is filled with So don't you ever judge a book by its cover.